Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be going over how to build a basic desktop computer. I chose this just because I know how to do it. Also, computers are involved in a lot of things we do, so I thought it would be cool to see you guys learn how to build one of the basic computers that we use every day. So, getting to it, we're going to learn about step one. Step one is ordering all your parts. Obviously, parts you need to build into one bigger thing. So, you can get your parts at local stores or an online store. I'm going to go the online store route just because that is what I do, and I will be able to accurately give examples of. So, you can go online, and you can search up computer stores that sell parts. I would recommend Newegg. Newegg, just because it is a big site that is very reliable, and it's very trusted. You can go to other sites that you would need to look at if you're going online to order them and see the reviews and how trusted they are. Going back to Newegg, that's the example we're going to be using, you're going to look on their site and you're going to see they're going to have a wide variety of parts. In each of those parts, there's going to be a variety of those parts, of sizes, prices, companies, etc. So you're going to find the ones most of your liking. I mean, you have certain wants and those wants, you can find them on this site. They're going to tell you what each part can do for you. So we're going to move on to some of the basic parts that I have. First, you're going to need a tower. A tower is what holds all of your parts together. They just slide right on in here, kind of, they all have different looks, so you choose the look that you would want. Then you're going to have a motherboard. Motherboard is what processes all the information from other accessories by plugging them in. This is what it looks like. I would not do that with the regular one, they will break. This is already a broken motherboard, so I'm able to touch it. The next you're going to need is a video card, which looks like that. That displays the video on your screens that you will buy. Next is a processor. The processor sits on the motherboard and it processes the information the motherboard receives. Another thing you will need is a hard drive. This is a small solid state hard drive. It saves all the programs that you download onto it, the pictures, the videos, the games etc. You can save a lot of things onto this. Next thing will be this right here. This is the power supply. It supplies power to the computer. comes with many of these little cords that plug into it and they supply power to all the other accessories too. Another thing you'll have is a DVD player and also RAM which I'll show you here in a second. So one more thing before I show you how to build a computer you need to get your computer site ready you need to make sure that while on the floor there's no carpet there's nothing that's going to fall on it and ruin your computer no carpet because static electricity will destroy the computer that you are building because each component is very sensitive to the electricity that it gets and while we're doing this also make sure kids and other animals are not around this a lot of the computer parts are very small and it can hurt them. So here we are, we are at our computer. This is my tower right here. So we're going to imagine that all of this is not in here. We're going to start from step one. Step one is putting in the power supply. Power supply, you just screw it onto the bottom of your tower and it is ready to go. Next thing you're going to do is your motherboard. It slides into the back of the tower and it screws up on the wall of the tower then that is installed. The next thing you install is the processor. The processor will come with glue. You are then going to apply the glue to this square right here which is the processing square and you're just going to let that sit on there for a few minutes. Once it dries that is installed. Next thing you're going to do is I'm going to grab this motherboard again. You're going to install the video card. The video card goes right in here into one of these slots you have a small clip that flips up and down. You're going to flip those down, stick the video card in, clip it back, and your video card is installed. Next thing you're going to do is the same thing with RAM. RAM is going to install in these slots as well right up in here. They sl slip up and then they clip right back down and your video cards are then installed. Next thing you're going to do is install your hard drives, which are in these hard drive slots over in the front of your tower. 
what they do is they're going to have cords on the other side plug into that and then that cord you're going to find your hard drive slot which is right in the bottom left area of your motherboard and they are going to plug in right there next thing you're going to do is you're going to install your DVD in the DVD drive slot it has special slot for it and then the cords will run out of the back and they will then install into the DVD portion of the motherboard wherever that may be after that all your stuff is installed to the tower you will then have to run all of your wires to the parts and each part is quite obvious where the wire will run to because they have little plug-in slots and you'll then put those in the plug-in slots on the motherboard now talking about the wires the next step you have to do is clean it up you don't want wires all over the place getting into your fans or whatever so if you flip the computer around, I'm going to pause it real quick. Alright, flip the computer around. You're going to have another panel on the back. You're going to unscrew the screws from the back of the tower. And you're going to take that panel off. And so, they're just going to be this wide area. These cords won't be here. You're going to then run your cords from the front of the tower through these big holes in the back of the tower to this little side panel and you're just going to basically zip ties all the cords that need to be together and put back here. These cords aren't falling out because I organized these well enough to where they just kind of stay put in their area and there are no problems with that. So putting that panel back on you may think you're done but you are not. We're going to have to move on to our next step which is installing all of the programs that you get with your motherboard, your video card, and these programs are basic to install. This is what the programs are going to look like. They are just basic CDs. So, you're going to then plug your pro program computer into a wall and fire it up. You're going to get a black screen that leads to your motherboard startup screen. You're then going to have to install Windows, which Windows is just a basic disk. Once you insert it in, it's going to run from there. It's going to install all the stuff that you need. Once it is done installing, your computer is going to restart. Once it restarts, then you're going to install your motherboard programs, your processor programs, your video card programs, your DVD programs. Just because the DVD read the programs doesn't mean it actually necessarily works. So once you have all the programs plugged in, then you may move on to the settings. The settings, you get to set up your computer how you would like to. Instead of like a basic computer, it has all the basic settings already turned on. Once your settings are done, then your computer is ready to go and you can search and do whatever you will. Thank you for listening today, guys.